Welcome to the homework for lesson 15. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name here first in case you forget it later. And now we've, we've made our transition from in class we were making, we had paper strips that we actually folded up to label and make fractions. Then we started drawing pictures of those paper strips and now we're just drawing number lines and labeling fractions. Estimate to label the given fractions on the number line. Be sure to label the fractions at 0 and 1. Write the fractions above the number line. Draw a number bond to match your number line. The first one is done for you. So here, 1 third is what we had to do. So we had to label 1 third and then make the number bond to show one third and then the rest which is two more thirds equaling the whole and notice that these are all going to one for a whole it's important to notice what our endpoints are because they won't always be zero and one in this page it looks like they are and it looks like on the next page we have something like that too but they won't always be 0 and 1. But in this case, they are. So we don't have to worry so much about these um, being points greater than 1 or having 1 in the middle. And then we'll get to that later, I'm sure. So we need 3 sixths. So we need sixths. 3 sixths is the same. And let's see. For six, I'll do half, and then I make each half into thirds, and that's my best chance of getting them to look about the same. And that last six is pretty big, so let me see if I can do that over. I don't think it's any different than it was before, but it's not going to get any better than that, so... This is going to be zero sixths, and this is going to the end here is going to be six sixths, and then the middle is I have to that's one six two six. This is going to be three sixths right here. So my number bond is going to be one for the whole because that's the end of our number line, and then it takes one two three more six right that's one two three more six to get to the rest of the way so it's three six and three sixths and now we've got fifths well th this line here was six fifths are going to be a little bit bigger so we'll call that a fifth there and we'll try to make another one about the same maybe that one's a little too small like that maybe another one about there another one that's too small let's see my fifths are way too small right fifths are yeah so it's a little bit more let's make my first one bigger hmm. like that and then there's another, and then there's another, and then that's about, that's as good as it's going to get. All right, so I need that this is zero fifths, and this is going to be five fifths on the end. So then we need one, that's one fifth, and so here is two fifths. So that's two fifths then the rest of it is three fifths so one whole is two fifths and three fifths and I'm sure you've noticed by now if you haven't already that the numerators add up to the denominator two plus three equals five and that's because our whole is one if our whole was going to be more than one then it would be different but the that um, that's something you can use to help check your work. Now we need tenths. 
Oh. So that's tenths are going to be about in the middle there. And now we need fifths. So I'm going to guess each half. Well, if these are fifths up here, then I can just kind of look halfway. Here's what I'm looking at up here. Half of a fifth is a tenth. So if I could try and get that to line up. If I get the fifths to line up from above, and then I make a halfway mark in between the fifths, I should end up with tenths. Because there's going to be twice as many of them as there are fifths. So let's see, seven tenths. So this is going to be zero tenths, and this is going to be ten tenths um one two three four five six seven so this is going to be the seven tenths and then we need one two three more tenths to get the rest away because seven plus three is ten so one whole is three tenths plus seven tenths and now we have sevenths Sevenths are a pain. Uh, all I can do is try to make eighths and make them a little bit bigger than an eighth. So let me just look where there's half and that's fourths. So an eighth would be about there. So a seventh is going to be about that big maybe. And I'll just try to make more of them and see if it comes out. That's probably too small. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> I have eighths. So I made them too close together. Right, it's going to take six lines, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And those aren't, uh, I'm just going to go with it because sevens are just a pain. They're just really hard. So I need zero sevenths and seven sevenths at the end. And then I need three, one, one, two, three. That's three sevenths and for my number bond three sevenths and four sevenths add up to make seven sevenths henry has five dimes ben has nine dimes tina has two dimes write the value of each person's money as a fraction of a dollar so it takes 10, a dime is 10 cents. If you don't know. And it takes 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. It takes 10 dimes to make a dollar. Right? Because a dollar is 100 cents. So, that means that each dime equals, since it takes 10 of them, each dime is one tenth of one dollar. So, since Henry has five dimes, Henry has five dimes, he's got five tenths of one dollar. Ben has nine dimes, so he has nine tenths of one dollar. And Tina has two dimes, she has two tenths of one dollar. 
Estimate to place each fraction on the number line. So we need tenths, right? Uh, how did this work before? We had fifths, and then we cut all the fifths in half. So let's just do, let's do that. Fifths. We need four lines to make fifths. So it will be about one, two, three, four. And then cut each of these in half. One, two, three, four, five. So those should all be tenths. Uh, Henry has five tenths. So that's one, two, three, four, five. Henry is five tenths. And I'll put an H up here for Henry. And then Ben has nine tenths. That's this one right here. Right? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Uh, nine tenths. And that's Ben. Label him with a B. And Tina is two. So that's one two here's Tina two tenths now we draw a number line and use a fraction strip to locate zero and one fold the strip to make eight equal parts Use the strip to measure and label your number line with eighths. So here's what you could do. You could take uh, some scissors and just cut the bottom of the page off right about there. I mean, there's a line right here you could use that. And cut that off the bottom. And then maybe cut it a little bit shorter. And you have a fraction strip. Now I can't show this on my computer screen but if you cut a strip like that then let's say you just need to mark the endpoints and say that's your strip say it's about that long and you're gonna draw a number line from here, from one end to the other, just like that. So I've just drawn a picture of a strip, but maybe that's the one you've actually cut out. And say it's about that long. Yours might be shorter or longer. So just make your number line shorter or longer. And then you fold it to make eight equal parts. So you're going to fold it in half, which will give you a crease mark right about there. If it wasn't, you know, if yours is the same as mine which means that's going to be your halfway mark. And then you're going to fold it in half again, which will give you fourths, so then you'll have fold marks here and there. And then you're going to fold it in half again, so that you're going to fold it in half three times. And you should end up with lines about like this. Now, if you fold it carefully, you'll get perfect eighths. And they'll be better than my estimations of eighths, probably. So... Locate 0 and 1. There's 0 and there's 1. And uh, we're going to label this with eighths. So there's 1 eighth, 0 eighths. Here's a crease mark, so I'm going to mark my number line 2 eighths. There's a crease mark here, so I'm going to label my number line there. Three eighths. Crease mark. Four eighths. Five eighths. Six eighths. Seven eighths. And this last one is eight eighths. Okay. Now count up from zero eighths to eight eighths on your number line and touch each number with your finger as you count. So I'm just going to count it. Zero eighths, one eighth, two eighths, three eighths, four eighths, five eighths, six eighths, 
seven eighths, eight eighths.